perhaps the most important part of creating motion graphics is the actual graphic design of your compositions. So in this video, we're going to talk about several awesome concepts when it comes to doing graphic design and motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is a very important tutorial because, you know, graphic design and motion graphics are pretty much the same thing other than one is in motion and the other is still graphics. But in order to do great motion graphics, you need to have some graphic design that makes sense. It has to you know, look appealing to your audience. So in this video, we are going to talk about several concepts to help you improve your motion graphics just through design. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial and let's get started. All right, we're going to create a composition like this with our graphic design technique. So we'll come over here to our tutorial composition and already we have a title design here. And in our first technique, I'm going to keep it brief, but is the most important part, which is great title layout. So we have two titles here, graphic design and we need to make sure that these stand out. Here we're using the same typeface and we're using Mastriot, which is a good clean typeface. You can also take a look at Fire Sands, uh, Gotham, Lotto. So when you have the same typeface, what you can easily do is you can select one of the titles, go to the drop down here and you can do a smaller font. So we can come here to extra light and now we're going to be creating good contrast between our titles, but I'm not going to stop there. What I want to do is make one of our titles bigger than the others and this is a good way to create good contrast. And nice, now we have a much bigger difference in our title design. And another thing I would also take a look at is the tracking. So, you know, always experiment with what tracking is gonna do. So if we open this up, it's gonna look pretty nice. So if you wanna have great design in your compositions, it all starts with the titles if you have any. All right, in our second tip, we're gonna talk about creating stacking boxes to create even more contrast in our titles. So first what we'll do is come here to the top, grab the rectangle tool, and we'll change our fill color to white, click OK. And we'll just draw out a box around our main title like this. Awesome. We'll come here to the line tab and center this up in the center of our composition. And if you don't see the line tab, go to window align. All right. And then we can bring this underneath our title. And then what we'll do is grab that title that we were covering up to white and we'll just set this to like black. Click OK. And we'll put that in the center there. All right. Awesome. And then we'll go ahead and create another box. And this time we will do like a very dark gray color. And we'll do a smaller box for our second title. And then we'll make sure we'll put this layer underneath our second title. And of course, bring that title down. And we'll center this up, make sure that they're perfectly in the center. Perfect. All right, I went ahead and perfected everything. I went ahead and made sure that there's uh, equal space between the title and the size of the boxes. So everything kind of looks congruent and I positioned it nicely next to each other. So now that we have our title separated with some graphics, our third technique is gonna be just creating a very clean background. So what we can do to create clean backgrounds, we'll do layer, new, solid, and I'll call it BG for background. We'll go to effect, generate, and we'll grab gradient ramp. And we'll set our ramp shape to radial ramp, and we'll bring the center of this to the middle of our composition. And we'll grab this top anchor point right here at the top, and we'll bring it to the center of our composition, just like that. And we'll change our color to, you know, any color that would work for your theme. I'll do something like a little bit brighter. And then I'm coming here to my second color, and I want to grab like a similar red color, but much darker, and click OK. And then I'm coming here to the Y value of Ender Ramp, and just bring this down. And put this underneath everything we've just created. And then obviously I want to be able to add a little bit of a background design to this to help this stand out a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and create this background real quick. I also have a few tutorials on creating animated backgrounds instead of After Effects. So if you want more than one style, go ahead and check out that video. The link will be in the description. But for this one, all I did is grab the pen tool here at the top. Click on the word fill, set it to none, click OK. Click on the word stroke and set it to solid color and click OK. And then I'm going to bring up my title action saves, which is this little cross here right here. Click on that. And I'll come here to the corner of our composition and just kind of click a point there. And come here to the center of our composition, do our point there. And then come here to the other corner and just do that. And I'll grab the selection tool here at the top. And let's go ahead and open up our shape layer real quick. And let's go in the contents, go in the shape one, go to the path, click on path. And just kind of select a point here and we'll just drag it down by a little bit. This way when we animate this later, it won't go outside the con or it won't clip and that'll be fine. Perfect. All right, cool. So then we'll click on the word contents, go to add, and we're going to add a repeater. Open up repeater one, go in the transform repeater one. We'll set the X position right here to zero and increase the Y position, you know, until we have some gaps here. 
and that's fine. And then we just increase the number of copies just for a crazy, a crazy amount. And then we can increase the offset or decrease it. Perfect. And then we'll bring this layer underneath everything. And since we're using the same color palette here for our graphics, we can't really see this. So what we'll do is we'll grab the main title background, go up to effect, perspective, and we'll grab drop shadow. And let's increase the softness to like 300. And then, you know, that can be fine. But let's go ahead and lower the opacity down on this to like 15%. And then we can duplicate it. And I'll change the rotation of this randomly. And I'll bring down the softness in half. And that just goes ahead and adds it a little bit at the top. Perfect. So now we have this standing out from our background. And before we move on to our next technique, I want to give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Starter Pack. So we have our very own extension in After Effects called the Motion Graphics Starter Pack. And this is a template consistent of over 350 elements. And simply we have nearly 200 pre-made title animations, tons of accent motion graphics and animated backgrounds that help you produce amazing work. And let me show you how easy this is to use. So when we find a title that we like in our pack, we can just click on apply. And it automatically applies it to your composition. And from here we can easily change out our titles and colors because this is a template and we have these nice accent motion graphics going around our title which just adds more detail to our compositions and if we want we can always go to our background category and apply a background that works and with our animated background apply we've been able to put together a full after effects composition within under a minute and obviously you can change out everything the colors and the titles to make your very own work so if you want to check out our Motion Graphics Starter Pack and see how it can help you enhance your quality of work while getting work done fast, I will drop that link in the description. And if you do pick it up, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you. So obviously now we have good graphic design concept in here. Now all we have to do is animate it. And of course we're going to talk about how we should animate this uh, and we'll get started on that. So in our fifth technique, we're going to talk about animating our graphic design elements. So first of all, let's animate our titles. So what we could do here is go into our first main title, open this up, go to animate and add a position and go to add, go to property, and add an opacity. Set the opacity down 0% and bring down the Y position just to be underneath the box, you know, a little bit underneath that main box there. And then open up range selector one and around say like one second, we'll add a keyframe for start. We'll move forward and then we'll set this up to 100%. And then we'll make these both easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then for our Main title background, we'll just hit S on keyboard for scale. We'll break the chain for scale, add a keyframe for it, move that forward in time, and set the X scale to 0%. And make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now, bam, and we'll just time this out perfectly. So boom, we have our main title animated. Then for our subtitle, I'll just grab that title and the background for that, go up to layer, pre-compose, and I'll call it sub, click OK. Then we'll grab the pan behind tool, put that anchor point right there in the center of that composition. And after this is animated on, we'll add a keyframe for scale right there. And we'll move that keyframe forward and set the scale down to 0% and make them easy, easy keyframes. Boom, that comes on. Nice. So then what we'll have to do is animate the background and then I'll show you a quick transition that we could do. So to animate the background, really easy to do this. We'll go ahead and open up our shapes. So what we'll do here is we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for offset and we'll move forward to the end of our composition say five seconds and we'll set our offset to like negative eight so it's negative five to negative eight and that'll give it a nice slow smooth motion and that is really nice and also just to take this even further we can copy those drop shadows that we created and paste that onto our shape background and that'll help our background stand out even more that's nice all right, and then just so we don't get into this composition abruptly, I'm gonna show you how to create a quick shape transition. So what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll grab all of our layers and pre-compose them. We'll just call this all, click okay. So what we can do is grab any shape tool we want, grab the ellipse tool. Then what we'll do is make sure nothing is selected. Come here from the center of our composition and hold down shift and control on our keyboard or that's command on a Mac. And draw a circle like this, change the fill to solid color, click okay, and we'll turn off the stroke. Awesome. Then all we're going to do is hit Astro Keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for that, set the scale down to 0%, move forward maybe by a, almost a second, and set up to 100%. And then set this up to fill up the entire composition. And of course, make these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then we'll toggle switch to the modes where you see the track mat. Set the track mat for your all layer to alpha mat. Make sure you turn on motion blur here at the top. And we'll go back into our composition and we'll turn on motion blur for these layers as well. So now we kind of have that shape transition animation, but also if you want to 
animate our lines a little bit more. Let's go back into our composition, go into our shape background, and then we'll go in the contents, go to the shape one, and where's the stroke one? We'll go ahead and right when this is opened up around like 18 frame, right around a second, a lot of keyframe for stroke width, and we'll move forward to the beginning of our timeline here, and we'll set the stroke width all the way up to fill up this entire composition to be a white uh, solid, and we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe. So now we have our graphic design elements married with our animation properties. So we have a really cool animated composition. So those are some concepts you can apply when doing motion graphics, talking about the design portion of it all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials like this every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. Always be creating.